Over. Guess what? <laughs> what? My bestest best friend Fred is coming to visit. But aren't I your bestest best friend, Simone? You're my new bestest best friend. I'm talking the pre Pumba days. <laughs> Fred and I were one zany pair. He's always pulling these practical jokes. The handshake buzzer. <laughs> A squirting flower. Excuse me. Ah, that was the whoopee cushion. He loved that. <laughs> Boy, could I make him laugh. My hyena jokes would slay him every time. Oh, I'd better think of some new ones. I've got him. Oh, tell him to me, Timon. I want to hear him. I want to hear him. Well, if you insist. Ladies and germs, bugs and lava, get ready to bust your cocoons, cause I'm hot tonight. Anybody see the headlines today? Some mad scientist crossed a hyena with a piece of celery and made a laughing stock. <laughs> That's a good one! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. What did one hyena say to the other when they reached the top of Mount Everest? High enough for you? Get it high enough? I, I get it! <laughs> Tim, man, you're killing me! You hear the one about the hyena who lost his voice? He had laughingitis! Oh, I'm good. You know, Timon, with you and Fred being old friends and all, maybe I should leave so you two can catch up. Pumba, you're not going anywhere. You're my best friend. I'd never do anything to make you feel left out. Fred! Hey, buddy, house tricks? First of all, Timon, I have changed my ways. No more tricks. You're not kidding. No, sir. I do not play practical jokes anymore. Thanks to clean living, I have been reformed. I hope that it will not hurt our friendship, however. Of course not. <laughs> You're not gonna get me with the whoopee cushion this time. Of course not, Timon. I told you, I've changed my ways. <laughs> a Boston glove now. <laughs> ah, you really got me. <laughs> Timon? Well, hello there. You must be Pumba. I'm so pleased to meet you. Here, have some mixed nuts. Gee, thanks! You want funny? Wait till you hear my latest hyena jokes. Oh, yeah. Timon has some great ones. Tell him the one where the mad scientist crosses the hyena with the celery and makes a laughing stalk. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this one. What did one hyena say to the other when they reached the top of Mount Everest? Pumba. <laughs> Don't ruin the punchline. Hyena for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do tell another one, Pumba. Okay, okay, did you hear the... and I some time to catch up. Ah, oh, Timon, come on. Pumbaa doesn't have to leave. 
Why don't we cook up some fun? The way we used to, huh? Yeah, let's go bowling for buzzards. Uh, I always go bowling for buzzards. I know, let's play turtle tennis. <gasps> Splendid idea, my friend. Whoa, Pumbaa, you really are the brains of this outfit, aren't you? Oh. I got it! I got it! <laughs> Can we play something else now? <laughs> okay, Pumba, my friend. Let's go fishing for flamingos! <laughs> Some hippo hockey? No. How about giraffe jumping? No. Badger boxing? I don't think so. Gee, Timon, you don't seem to be your usual perky self. Have I, in an attempt to make your guest feel welcome, alienated you and strained our cherished bond of friendship? Oh, Timon, buddy, we never meant to make you mad, and we're gonna make it up to you. You will? You just sit down and relax under that tree over there, and Pumbaa and I will get you some of those squishy beetles you like so much. Well, okay. That's sure a nice thing to do, Fred. I can see why Timon calls you his old bestest best friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, don't you realize that that tree he's sitting under is full of sleeping howler monkeys? All you have to do is nudge it with your big tusks and... Bam! The whole bunch of them will fall on Timon, howling and screaming. <laughs> That'll scare the bugs right out of them! <laughs> but, Fred, that's not what friends do to other friends. Come on, Puma! It'll be the best practical joke ever. Only a shallow, mean, uncaring, heartless, and sensitive mook would play a humiliating practical joke on a best friend. I'm going to find my bestest best pal, the bugs we promised! What a... Party pooper. Hey, Timon! Let me get this straight. Are you suggesting that I play a humiliating practical joke on my best pal, Pumba? You guessed it. Will you do it? Sure! Yeah, beetle, 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 beetle. Hey, Pumba! Timon! Uh, are you still mad at me and Fred? <laughs> me mad? How could I stay mad? I'm your pal, Pumba, and I'm gonna help you look for bugs. As a matter of fact, it now occurs to me that I just so happened to see one grade A prime choice beetle ready for consumption right over there. Just follow the uh, dotted line here. Oh, Timon, it's so nice to be bug hunting with my bestest best pal. Pumba, stay on the line. Uh, I guess Fred is fun, but I just can't be friends with someone who would play a humiliating, degrading, mean-spirited practical joke on a good buddy. Uh, you can't? Of course not, Timon. Friendship is based on trust, honesty, and mutual... such a strong friendship. Oh, is that why? So, where is this incredible edible bug? Is it here on the big green square that almost looks like it could be a trap?
No, wait a minute. There's one last thing I forgot to tell you. Okay! I'm now going to step forward onto this thing that looks like a trap, but isn't. He's okay? He's fine. I'm the one breaking a funny bone. <laughs> but Timoni could have bruised his little knees or twisted his little ankles or shattered his itty bitty spine. Fred! 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 I think we should jump in to see if he's all right. How about Pumba? <laughs> Good that time. Hey, you guys, come on. It's just a joke. <laughs> guys. Hey, Pumba, you want to go flamingo fishing? Just you and me? You bet. A big differing unlikeness between the two of us. You, on one hand, are very afraid of most everything, while I, on the other hand, am afraid of mostly nothing. Now, what is it that scared you, Bacon Boy? Over there! Hey! Yeah. See, see, it scared you too! No, 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 Pumba. That was not a scream of scariness. That was a scream of pure elation. Do you not realize what this is? We have accidentally happened onto the lost, forgotten, abandoned temple shrine of the sacred, glorious golden fruit fly. So? So, hidden somewhere deep inside this cursed temple is the prized, jewel-encrusted, and very worth a lot of money, glorious golden fruit fly. Did you say curse? Yeah, 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 there's some old cock and bull story about a monster mummy beetle that protects this temple. But that's just a bunch of malarkey. M -m 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 mummy beetle? Come on, Bomba. What? You're not coming? Just promise 
promise me one thing, Timon. Promise me nothing will happen to me. If anything happens to you, Pomba, it'll be over my dead body. Wow, these old temples sure are damp and creepy and scary. It's no wonder people think they're cursed. Ah! Pomba, is there a problem? I saw the mummy beetle! He's scary and big and he's got lots of arms and he's right over there! You mean that? It's just a coat rack. Oh, sorry. Now come on, you big scary hog. <laughs> beetle my blood jump. George and Rico. Now, I'm no expert in hieroglyphics, but if I'm not mistaken, this says to get to the treasure, we take a left at the gas station, then go two blocks north until we get to the old barn. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Come on! I wish you'd be more careful, Pumba. This is a very old temple. You already caused that rock to come loose. But the mummy! Would you stop it with the mummy talk? It's your hallucination! Now, come on. You know, legend has it that no living thing has ever actually seen the prize jewel-encrusted and very worth a lot of money, glorious golden fruit fly. But I can sense that we're getting very, very close. Come on! And what exactly were you planning on doing with that, Pumba? Give me that! But, Timon, the statue! Uh, uh, that it! Uh, uh, that it tried to! Uh, How many times do I have to tell you there's nothing to be afraid of? These statues are made out of hard, stony rock stuff. See? It's not alive. Now, oh, come on! Uh, Pumba? Pomba, but you come on, you're wasting time. I'm telling you, Timo, this place is cursed. There's a monster mummy beetle running loose and it's trying to kill us and make us dead. Why don't you describe this monster mummy beetle to me, Pomba, just in case I run into it? is the prized jewel encrusted and very worth a lot of money. Glorious golden fruit fly. We're gonna be rich! <laughs> what about the mummy curse? 
I don't want to hear another peep out of you about that mummy. How many times do I have to tell you? There's no such thing. What do you call that? Hey, hit the road, pal. We've already staked claim to this treasure. And not that I'm a medical type doctor or anything, but you really should see somebody about getting these bandages changed. You just relax here while I go and get the box, and then we'll be out of here without incident. think they put in some sort of traps or alarms or something. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's performance of the destruction of the lost, forgotten, abandoned temple shrine of the sacred, glorious golden fruit fly. Please exit through the doors to your left. Thank you. Oi! What's the big idea, Pumba? You nearly knocked the wind out of me, jumping on me like that. Uh, but, Timon! Oh, but, Timon, me. I've had it with you and your strange behavior. You're creeping me out. Whatever's in that coffer better be worth all the trouble. Oh, it's worth it. It's worth it. You just wait and see. Jack or Cracks? No, no. This is just the box, Pumba. The real prize is inside. and supposedly worth a lot of money, glorious golden fruit fly! Uh, yep. You mean to tell me that we went through all of that and this is it? Uh, huh? And how much exactly would you say it is approximately worth? Uh, with or without the caramel corn. <laughs> no, 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 Pumba, settle down. You know, I, I forgot to tell you earlier, there is one thing that I'm very, very afraid of. And what is that? An angry warthog. Yeah!